Hello everyone. Today I want to explain how to find the best hydraulic section for trapezoidal channel cross section. I explain, I will explain in detail. If you understand me, you don't need to search for any other tutorials about best hydraulic section or most efficient hydraulic section for trapezoidal. Let's start. First, we have to find area for a trapezoidal channel or trapezoidal section. Area equal to surface width. That's the surface width plus bottom with us over to multiply height. That is the equation for finding area for trapezoidal channel. Let us know what is a T or T equal to what? T equal to T is surface with this. This with this or this length is equal to B naught. You see, we have B naught, the same as B naught plus SY, but we have two SY here and here. So surface width is equal to b naught plus 2sy okay let's come back to area by simplification or replacing t it will be b naught plus 2sy that's t plus b naught this b naught over 2 multiply y that's the area more simplification and we can uh, after more simplification we get 2p plus 2sy over 2 multiply y. These two cancel each other. Then it will be a equal to b naught multiply y plus s y square. Now, by taking out y as a common factor, it will be b naught plus sy multiply y. That is the area for trapezoidal channel. Now we have to find weighted perimeter. First, we have to know what is weighted perimeter. Weighted perimeter is the side of the channel which has a contact with the water. We see this side and the bottom and this side has a contact. That is a weighted perimeter because it's weight. We denote it by P. So P equal to B naught, that is B naught, 2 multiply Y square root 1 plus S square. That is the length of the two sides, this side and this side. Y square root 1 plus S square it is the length for the side, but we have two, so multiply it by two. How we got this length by Pythagoras theorem? If we want to find the hypotenuse for a small triangle, it equal c. C equal square root one square, which is a plus s square, which is b. That's c. If we multiply y height, it will be the length for the sides. That's why p equal to b naught plus 2y multiply square root 1 plus s square. Now we have to eliminate b naught and to replace with a, s, and y. We know that a equal to b naught plus s y all multiply y. Let's find b naught from this equation. We get b naught as a over y minus s multiply y. Just replace B0 by this equation. It will be P will be A over Y minus S multiply Y plus 2 multiply Y multiply square root 1 plus S square. Now it's clear. We have two cases to find most efficient or best hydraulic section for trapezoidal channel. One case A and Y is constant and S variable. Let's solve for this case first. Okay. We have to differentiate the equation P and equalize DP over ds as zero okay i just want to change the p equation to this type square root one plus s square i change it to one plus s square to the power of 0.5 the same now we have to derive this equation it will be dp over ds and i over y is constant so derive derivation of constant it will be zero s multiply y if we derive this term it will be minus y it will be minus y and derivation for this term 2y twice the same and for derivative this theorem, it will be 0.5 multiply 1 plus s square multiply uh, to the power 0.5 minus 1. And we have to derive the inside the bracket, it will be 2s. That is the derivation for equation of p. Let's simplification more. Or 2 and 0.5 cancel each other. Then the equation will be 0 because we have to equalize or equal dp over ds to 0 as we mentioned here. And we have 0 also, minus y plus y multiply 1 over s squared to the power minus 0.5 multiply 2s after simplification. We have to simplify more. Then we see this 
it's minus y if we take to the left hand side it will be positive if we want to take 1 plus s squared to the power minus 0.5 to the denominator the power minus 0.5 will be 0.5 after simplification it will be y equal to 2s over y over 1 plus s square 0.5 i hope you understand me till now then this y and this 2y cancel each other we can take this term to the left hand side it will be 1 plus s squared to the power of 0.5 equal to 2s now by squaring both sides we get 1 plus s squared equal to 4s squared after simplification it will be 1 if we bring this s squared to this uh, right hand side it will be 4 minus 1 it will be 3s squared then s equal to then s equal to 1 over square root of 3 and if we want to find theta just theta equal to tan inverse 1 over 1 over square uh, root of 3 it will be 60 degree so the parameter for best hydraulic section while a and y is constant and s variable the angle of the sides must be 60 degree that's a most efficient hydraulic section which we get that's one case let's find the second case for second case when a and s is constant y is variable in first case a and y was constant but now a and s is constant y is variable let's start you have to differentiate the equation d again and equal uh, dp dy to zero after derivation it will be dp over dy equal to a over y y is not constant so it will be the derivation of this theorem will be minus a over y square and minus s multiply y it will be minus s because y derivation of y it will be one 2, two multiply y multiply square root 1 plus s square it will be 2 y will be 1 so easily we get the derivative by uh, we easily we get derivative which is 2 multiply square root 1 plus s square okay after simplification and replacing a with this equation we get b not b not plus s multiply y all multiply y over y square plus s this two y cancel each other this two y cancel and it will be b naught plus s multiply y over y plus s if we want to take a common denominator for this term it will be y multiply s it will be y s plus b naught plus s y so it will be b naught plus s multiply y plus y s over y and this time we can uh, sum this to s multiply y it will be 2ys and we can take this y to the right hand side it will be b naught plus 2sy equal to 2y multiply square root 1 plus s square we know this two terms b naught plus 2sy it equal to the top surface width top surface width and 2y multiply square root 1 plus s square it is the side lengths so in, from this equation we get that the top water surface with us is twice the length of the sloping side top surface with us is twice the length of the sloping side that's the uh, properties of the best hydraulic section from this derivation in other words this derivation shows that the most efficient section is one half of a hexagon that's a hexagon but most efficient section is half of a hexagon that is still for case 2 a and s is constant don't confuse please we see we have this triangle OCD that's sine theta we now sine theta equal to OC over OD sine theta opposite over o hypotenuse which is equal to OC over OD and by simplification we get OC equal to OD multiply sine theta. We know that OD is half of uh, top surface width. So OC equal to 1 over T multiply sine theta. That's equation 1. We can make another equation. If we have this triangular Y and this side this side that's the angle we have so sine theta equal to y over the side 
opposite uh, sine theta equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Also, we get, we found, we found that the top water surface with this is twice the length of the sloping side. So, sloping side is equal to 0.5t. We already get it. So, sine theta equal to y over, over 0.5t. Then, y, by simplification, y equal to 1 over 2t multiply sine theta. That's equation 2. If we equalize this equation 1 and 2, we get that OC equal to Y. OC equal to Y. Then it will be clear if we create a circle for best hydraulic section, if we create a circle here at O and draw a circle with a radius Y, it will be tangent at the sides, bottom, that's all. If you have any misunderstanding, please don't hesitate, inform me in a comment, I will answer as soon as possible. That's all, I hope it can be helpful, have a nice time.